Hey guys, so over a month ago, I asked you to send me questions for a possible Foot of a Ferret Q&A video, and since then, a lot has happened and I have not been able to get to this video, but now I'm finally sitting down, I'm actually standing up, and I am going to complete this video. So let's not waste any more time and get straight to the questions. So, Foot of a Ferret, how is life? One word. Ah! Are the mistakes in your videos real? What mistakes? I don't know what you're talking about. I only hit one million subs- I SAID IT AGAIN! It was there that he met fellow YouTubers can- Cantaloo. It's a cantaloo, Amika kitties. It's a live, 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 cantaloo, Amika kitties. On Tuesdays, Dan answered Twitter questions. On Wednesday, ah, it was so good, and then I messed up. Craig's popularly, popularly, popularly. This was the year when Craig's popularly really pop. I said it again. <laughs> However, I'll have to, ah. this invite was called How to Dance Properly and was comprised of short looping clips of Zay dancing in the room. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, those are very real. Who are your favorite artists slash musicians slash bands? I like a lot of different bands, but I'd have to say that my favorites are Styx, Panic at the Disco, Bony Bear, and Passion Pit. But my favorite band of all time is definitely Paramore. Don't judge me. It's because of their music. On that note, what did you think of the new Paramore album? Oh, I love it. I think the changes that they've made to their style really work for them, and even with the changes, they still sound like Paramore. My favorites from the album are definitely the three interludes, Ain't It Fun, and Still Into You. Ever broken any calcified osteology boys? I don't really know what you mean by that, and I'm pretty sure you didn't expect me to know what you meant by that, but I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say no, because I've never broken any bones. Are you a llama? Uh, no, but I used to be. What do you do for a living? I'm a student, I'm still going to school, but as far as a job, uh, YouTube. It's pretty much my job at the moment. So that's pretty cool. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is and will always be Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas, but I want to give a little bit of an honorable mention to Henry Selleck's Coraline, because that movie is just... Uh... Who's that crazy lady running behind you in that one video? Okay, so uh, that was my mom, and interesting story, the original plan was for me to film the entire video of me asking you for questions while on the beach, but as soon as we got out there, mom wanted to film that little running behind me thing because she quote, thought it would be hilarious, unquote, and immediately after we filmed it, she was like, I'm too cold, let's go back inside, so I did not get to film the video that I wanted to film on the only day we were going to be there long enough for me to film it, so thanks mom. Do you watch anime? Slash read manga if so which ones? No, I'm not really into anime or manga anymore, but when I was younger, I loved Zatch Bell, Naruto, Yu-Gi-Oh, and bo 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 What's your favorite chicken soup? I'm that I don't have to eat because soup is not for me. Okay, hold on, pause. I gotta, I, gotta, I just gotta, I, this is so awkward, this is so embarrassing, but I completely forgot your name. What is your name? Oh, my friends call me stupid, but you can call me Ryder. How tall is your body? I'm about 5'11", which, interesting fact, is about the same height as Matt Smith. Side note, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, but the Doctor Who episode of A Brief History has been scrapped because it just was not working out. Do any mainstream artists inspire you at all? Super Mario or Zelda? Mario! Woohoo! Sticking with that theme, what's your favorite video game? Metroid Prime. It's so good! Would you rather fight 100 horses that are the size of ducks or one duck that's the size of a horsey horse? One horse-sized duck, but I would definitely not fight it. I would tame it and we would travel the stars together. Would you consider yourself a sensitive person? Yes. Do you like Adventure Time and Regular Show? <laughs> I love Adventure Time and I love Regular Show. And if you're into either of those, I highly, highly suggest you go look up Bravest Warriors on YouTube. It's created by Pendleton Ward, who is the exact same guy who created Adventure Time, and it is one of the best things I've seen on YouTube in a long time. What is the meaning of life? Do you like One Direction? What made you want to do Brave History videos and how do you come up with topics for them. Basically, I've been wanting to change up what I did on my YouTube channel for a long time because I wasn't happy with what I had been doing and I wasn't happy with the fact that I wasn't doing anything in general. And it was around that time that I had discovered CGP Grey, who is an amazing, amazing YouTuber. I wanted to make videos like his, but I didn't want to just copy and paste his style. So I took CGP Grey's editing style, my own interest, and the Vlogbrothers idea of keeping things short and meshed them all together into the brief history stuff that you know today. In terms of where I get my ideas, 
this from, really, it depends. The only real criteria is that it's something that I'm interested in, and it's something that has a long enough and interesting enough history to make for a good episode. But nowadays, most of my video topics come from you guys, so again, that's pretty cool. What do you like most about YouTube? That is a tough one, but I would have to say it's the freedom of it. You can upload anything you want to YouTube within its guidelines, and you won't have to answer to anyone except yourself. And aside from that, I just love the communities that come out of YouTube, like the Nerd Fighters or the Nerd Fighters. So, baby. What YouTubers do you admire? My favorite YouTubers are definitely the Vlog Brothers, Live Lava Live, Wheezy Waiter, Pogo Bat, Amazing Phil, and Emma Blackery. Side note again, a while back someone on Twitter shipped me with Emma Blackery and they called it hashtag Rema, so you can tweet or tumble that if you want. <laughs> The internet is so weird. And of course, there's Super Carlin Brothers and Panikin, two amazingly amazing channels that you should really go check out right now. And of course, Smosh, because without them, hardly any of you would be here. Seriously, why do you call yourself Foot of a Ferret? Well, basically, it was the summer of 2010. <laughs>